morning guys welcome back to my channel i am super tired this morning it is 7 35 a.m oh look at chai chai come say good morning to everyone he already trying to play he got his ball in his mouth i am about to call my mom and my grandma while i'm getting ready because i have a workout in an hour hey Taylor. hello hey hey forget the most important thing so I'm not super annoyed I always forget something but I've never forgotten socks <laughs> so I don't really know why that happened anyway so I'm headed to soccer bar with no socks me I'm off the phone with my mom grandma and actually my auntie Nikki as well but she came on the phone later I'm slowly waking up Just finished the workout. I burned basically 500 calories, which is my goal each time to burn at least 500 calories. So I did that. Now I'm about to go into Publix because <laughs> to make a long story short, just yesterday I got a new coffee maker because I told you guys this story on my Instagram, but I drink a lot of cups of coffee a day. A Keurig just doesn't do it for me <laughs> because I have to make like it's one cup at a time. So I wanted like an actual coffee maker where I can make a pot and then drink my two two or three cups of coffee in the morning. So yes, I actually bought some medium roast coffee and I knew when I bought the medium roast that I wasn't gonna like that cause I don't necessarily like blonde or medium roast. I like a more heavy coffee. So I need dark roast cause I tried, I've brewed three pots since yesterday because I'm trying to figure out how much coffee I need to do and all that kind of stuff. It finally dawned on me, hey, you bought medium roast, you need dark roast. I'm at Publix, so I'm about to go inside and get some dark roast roast coffee. This is actually the brand I bought, this Lavazza. And I don't know, I probably should try the dark because I tried the, um, wait a minute now. This says intense and chocolatey dark roast. Okay, so, oh my goodness, I am still super flushed from my workout. This is what we got. Intenso, bold, and full body dark rose. I just realized something. I be having so many plans and then I forget my plans, but I was going to actually go get some Cuban coffee this morning. I'll do it some other day. Gran Selezione. I don't know. It's in Italian. Intense and chocolatey dark rose. I'm going to do one of these. I think I might do the Intenso because I want intense. It says bold and full body. So I want that one. So I'm gonna do that when I get home. Now let's go home. I actually need to Google. I don't really know how many scoops I'm supposed to do. One scoop for each cup, but is does that mean for each number? So like if I want it to be at the 10, does that mean I need 10 scoops? Like I don't know about that. If that's the case, then it's not cheaper than the pods. So let me see. Two tablespoons. So for 10 cups, you need approximately 20 scoops of coffee for 10 coffee cups, 12 and a half tablespoons of coffee 10 to 20 tablespoons what are they talking about like way less check what's wrong what's wrong you want to see what i'm doing up here i ain't doing nothing i ain't doing nothing exciting up here so that means how many 20 scoop hold up hold up 20 tablespoons table 20 tablespoons to cups that's 1.25 cups so this much coffee <sighs> Okay, I will say my reason for doing this isn't just to like be like more cost effective, but it's also so that I can have something I can program so that I can already have coffee in the morning and that I don't have to constantly make more than one single cup. But still, I thought it was like all around. I thought I was hitting the jackpot. Oh my gosh, why does this seem like a lot of coffee to me? I love coffee, obviously. <laughs> the reason why I'm overthinking this. Okay. Got that taken care of. I've been filming for nine and a half minutes <laughs> off some coffee. Let's now take a shower. Oh my gosh, just got out of the shower. I am now, I think, <laughs> tired, really, really. I got about 15 minutes before I need to be actually at my facial. Did I even tell you guys I was gonna get a facial? 
I'm going to get a facial. <laughs> I feel like my skin just needs a little bit of a reset. So I'm going to do that. And it's only about like five minutes away. So I got a little time. <sighs> I just love my new couch, you guys. So if you guys saw my previous video, I did completely transform my living room and kitchen. And this is kind of like a sneak peek into that video if you haven't seen it yet. And I'm unboxing the sofa. And honestly, my entire living room makeover would not be possible if it wasn't for Albany Park. They were kind enough to provide me with the Kova sofa and ottoman and the park armchair, which you guys will see in a second. When I first moved to Miami, I brought my friend furniture from my previous apartment and I just wasn't in love with it anymore. I wanted something more homey, something more rich in color, something that felt comfortable, you know? And when I came across Albany Park, I saw the pieces and I just, it just really resonated with the new style that I was going for. I love how Albany Park actually started as a brand to help us make the decision process of furniture shopping way less stressful because it can be so complicated when having so many different options to choose from when it comes to sofa and chairs and all that stuff and they really just narrowed down their shop to include a set number of styles that will fit anyone's style so if you're in the market for a new sofa or chair then albany park is such an amazing brand to start with and this is the after of my living room i love how it turned out and also you can change different parts to really customize it to your style they come in different shades and fabrics for example my park armchair Chair is a distressed vegan leather and my Kova sofa and ottoman is actually velvet but if either one of those fabrics don't fit your style then they have other options which is amazing it's just so nice to be able to mix and match the different pieces and put them together to really just round out your home I had such an amazing time making over my living room and kitchen I probably sleep on my sofa more times than the average person because it is just so comfortable I honestly can go on and on about about to these pieces from Albany Park. So thank you so much to Albany Park for partnering with me on this video and let's get back to it. Let me head to this facial. I'll be back, okay? He said, girl, please, why you can't take me with you? I know that's what you're thinking, but you can't go get a facial, puppy. He's actually getting groomed today. In about two and a half hours, I'm taking him to the groomers. But honestly, I actually really like this length, this hair length, but it's hot here, so I do want him to be shorter so that he's more comfortable when we go on walks and stuff. You gotta get your cut down, baby. Okay, I'm wasting time. Okay, so the whole drive here, which was like a five minute drive. I was thinking, I feel like every time I get a facial, I always film it, like I'm always vlogging it. And I feel like I'm always focused on working as opposed to really enjoying this self-care moment. So I decided I'm not gonna vlog it. I'm gonna really enjoy it and take this time for myself. So I'm sorry <laughs> because I know I'm vlogging. So it's like, you're supposed to vlog everything. But I really just want this moment to myself. Let me go in here and get my facial. I'm like one minute late. Okay wow look at my skin you guys and how come i didn't know extractions hurt i think that was my first like real facial it was literally amazing right now i realize i do have a problem but i cannot resist buying chai a toy like all the time <laughs> so it's a pet store right next door and the reason why i'm always buying him toys is because he tears up toys really fast i have a few hardcore toys staples like he's had them for a few months and he doesn't tear them up but i do like to give him toys that he can tear up you know what i mean because he enjoys it but as soon as he like takes the stuffing out it's like it's done it's trash i think i'm gonna get him this one instead the chicken oh wait the turkey so next, I want to get him some like really small treats. Not necessarily training treats, but they're gonna be used as training treats. Like I want something, something that sounds good to me. He might like this. And it's the last one, the pumpkin and berry flavor. Deliciously healthy dog treats. So we are in the car <laughs> and we are headed to drop him off. So I just dropped Chai off um, to get groomed and now I'm about to head to get my nails done. I really love this red, but I want like a nude. I can't decide if I want a brown nude or if I want funny bunny. My appointment is at 1.45 and it's 1.38. The 
this is the color i got the exact same color on my toes and the lady told me like two or three times that i cut my toes too low which i kind of did i ain't even gonna lie like yeah i kind of did but this is the color i love it it's called teddy bear i think the brand was like agile oh my goodness i want to show you guys chai He's so cute, we just got home. Chai, show them how cute you are. I just warmed up some food. I cooked yesterday chicken and I made a salad. So I'm gonna eat this and lay down for a bit. I need to relax. I'm about to give Chai his um, toy, new toy. And I want him to try the treats. I didn't do it before he went and got groomed. Just because, I don't know. First, let me start with the treats. He gonna like them. I don't even know why I'm playing. He loves anything. Sit. Good boy. It's a new treat, so look. Look, he's taking it off. He said, I need to investigate this. <laughs> Is it good? So he did house a few times. He likes these treats clearly okay so he did really great on our little training session now he gets the turkey do you want that turkey i gotta show him this squeaks <laughs> Yay! he literally loves this toy like bring it to me to tell me to <laughs> throw it let's see <laughs> I'm about to read a little bit of this book that I just started reading. It's called Wolf Boys. One of my 2023 goals is to read one new book each month. So this is my book for the month. Um, it's two American teenagers in Mexico's most dangerous drug cartel. It's super interesting so far. I just started yesterday and I am on chapter two. So let's get to it. All right, you guys, I am about to call it a night. Hi, Chai. You want a belly rub? <laughs> he said, come on. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. So, so as I was saying, I'm about to call it a night. Watching tennis with Chai. <laughs> I think it's like about to be 11 p.m. So you guys can barely even see me. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it or if you liked vlogs. And I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.